You just check yourself and say, oh yeah, I forgot who I was. Let me go on again. Oh, I almost forgot. I almost forgot. I almost forgot how great I was. I was almost happy for a minute. Come on, somebody tell the neighbor, say, neighbor, wake up. Wake up. And step into greatness. Don't ever forget who you are. Thank you. Don't ever forget the greatness that's in you, okay? That, that, that's what that's what mentally what greatness is. Let, let's go, let's go, let's go and, and deal with it. But here's step one. In Psalm 86, verse 10, watch what the Bible says. For thou art great, it's talking about God, and doest wondrous things. Thou art God alone. How many of y'all will agree with me that the Bible is accurate when it says God is great? Amen. I'm going somewhere. The word great comes from this Greek word, Gaudel, which means high, long, loud, mighty, much, more, and noble. All right? Watch. The first thing you all got to do is rediscover God. See, mm. so your view of God has a lot to do with your view of yourself. Yeah. This is why, you know, y'all got the vibe with me here. This is why I tell people, you don't, you don't need to come to me telling me that, you know, I'm a king from Egypt. My, listen, my DNA goes further back than Egypt. Right. Was it me greater than anybody that was under over the motherland? Right. I gave my identity in God. Yeah. Come on, somebody. Yeah. That's why, why pastor, he's my daddy. All right. All right. If you've really been born again. So we got to rediscover God. Rediscovering the greatness of God, watch, is very important in the process of stepping into greatness. Mm -hmm. When you view God as great, watch, it helps you embrace the greatness in you because you are made in the image. According to Genesis 126, let us make man in our image and in our likeness. Amen. You're made in the image, that means you look like God. When God looked in the mirror, guess who he see? You. <laughs> Say that again, that was too much for your religious folk. When God looked in the mirror, he sees you. You're made in his image. You look like God. You a spirit. That's what I'm talking about. I'm not talking about your kinky hair, your big lips, your long nose. You know, I'm talking about your spirit, man. God is a spirit, right? You are spirit. You look like God. But watch this. You're not only made in his image, you're made in his likeness. Yes. That means you act like him. That's right. mm -hmm. In your acts and in your deeds. That's why you're great. <coughs> God made you like that. You got God's DNA. Yes. Everything God does, watch, he does it on a level of greatness. Greatness is in the nature of our God. He cannot think any thoughts but great thoughts. Right. God can't do any task but great tasks. Yeah. Everything connected with God is great. There's nothing connected with God that is not great. Yeah. I'm driving some home, y'all. Yeah. Nothing, nothing, yeah. nothing, yeah. including yeah. you. The Bible even calls your salvation great. It says, how shall we uh, uh, escape if we neglect so great a salvation? And some of us treat it like it's nothing. <coughs> Everything about God. I'm going to show you something. I want to show you something. I, I don't want to spend all day on this. But I just want to, I might, I might read a few of these. Job 36, I got to read it, man. Because I got excited reading this today. Turn to the book of Job. 